Brothers and sisters, Islam is not a religion of gloom and doom. You notice how we just started now? We're trying to be good Muslims. So am I. It's a trial. It's a life, a life full of trying to pass the test. And I want to start off by telling you that there is a big difference between a believer and a non-believer. A person who believes their outlook to life is completely different from one who does not believe. And this is something unique. It is something that you have to realize as a starting point. Because sometimes when I'm discussing with a person who does not believe and you're talking about things, they only think in a specific way. And believe me, their norms keep changing in a way that sometimes is very embarrassing and they still don't realize. You know, recently we've seen the globe moving in a certain way. Okay. And we all know that according to the global norms, Democracy is something that is looked very high up to and is considered a standard. But part of that democracy is the right to disagree. That's part of democracy, which means it's my freedom to agree with you or to disagree with you. Yet the same democracy disagrees with our disagreement to some things. And this is something that the fathers of democracy are perhaps perpetrating, perhaps purposely. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the commoners like myself and yourselves a little bit more sense to understand what exactly is going on. My brothers and sisters, imagine if you were to say, or if someone, let's say, let's, let me give you a different example. If someone was to say, you know, I believe Islam is wrong. Are they right or do they have a right to say that? They have a right to say that. They have a right to d disagree with me. They have a right to believe that what I am saying is wrong. I have heard people saying Islam is barbaric. No one says anything. I have heard people saying Islam teaches this and teaches that which it does not teach. I have heard only silent or muted answers of those like myself and the others that are never ever perhaps, you know, circulated amongst the same people who are saying these things. And we have never heard a landslide sort of a response to it or the whole world making a big hoo-ha about why someone disagrees with Islam or believes in it that which is not really in it and therefore comes to a conclusion that it is a religion of doom and gloom and so on and it has no goodness in it. But if anyone has to disagree, for example, just disagree to say, you know what, I don't really agree with homosexuality, for example, just an example. I don't really feel, you know, that it's the right thing to do. If someone has to say that, the whole world will descend on them like they've never seen the evening or the morning. And then we want to say, you do not have a right to disagree with this. That's what the world is going to. So let's wake up and see what's happening in front of us. I have of late been studying something, you know, the movement, the, 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 the sexual sort of movement of mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And believe me, it's heading towards animals in the sense that there will come a time very, very soon when not only will it be the in thing to marry the sheep or the goats or the animals, but it will be wrong for you and I to disagree. You will be jailed if you disagree. Everyone's just looking at me. Ten years from today, we might meet again. Then you look at me differently. May Allah protect us. Because 10 years back, where we were and where we are today is already proving certain things. It's proving points that we have no right to disagree when it comes to certain things. You have no right. But when people call you a dog just because you believe in one God, when people call you an animal just because you are a person who prays five times a day, when people call you a sadistic person just because you believe that there is heaven and hell after you've lived, then there is nothing wrong. They have the right to disagree with you. But when you say, my brother, I don't think what you're doing is wrong. I, I, sorry, is correct. I believe that what you're doing is actually not ideal. Or even if you just say it's not for me, they will say I can prosecute you, I can jail you and you perhaps will be jailed depending on who you are. Is that what the world is all about? So this is why we say the outlook of a believer and a non-believer is totally different. Let me explain to you. The mere fact that you and I are going to die proves that this life was not just to enjoy. The mere fact that I'm going to die and you're going to die proves that this life has a meaning to it. Because if it was here to enjoy, I would not die. I would be living and excited and if I did well, I would get more years. The, the more well you do, the sooner you die. Eat more, die quick. Have you ever heard that? 